Okay, so buckle up if you've not heard this story. I'm about to break down the whole situation on what's going on with Facebook possibly leaving Europe. So multiple outlets today were reporting that Facebook and Instagram might be leaving Europe completely. Just from a personal level, I have a lot of subscribers in Europe, and so I was concerned about how this might affect them. I'm gonna sum up the overall problem as simply as I can. The European Union has laws protecting the fundamental right of their citizens' privacy. Their laws say there must be privacy. The U.S., on the other hand, with laws in place such as FISA, guarantees that there must be surveillance. So we have a little bit of a disconnect in how the different governments either protect or do not protect their citizens' data. This all had a very specific beginning. Back in 2013, an Austrian privacy activist named Max Schrems filed a complaint with the Irish Data Protection Commissioner. He had personally heard Facebook execs at a meeting in California claim that even though Europe had privacy laws, nobody enforced them. This, coupled with the Edward Snowden revelations about US surveillance, he decided to file a complaint against Facebook with the Irish Data Protection Commissioner. After his complaint, the commissioner made a public statement saying, I don't think it will come as much of a surprise that in fact, U.S. intelligence services do have access from U.S. companies. He then closed the case. Schrems took it to the Irish High Court for a judicial review. It eventually reached the Court of Justice, which found in 2015 that European users' data was not being adequately protected. There was a violation of the essence of your fundamental right to privacy and your fundamental right to access justice. Since then, there's been a series of agreements between countries such as Privacy Shield and standard contractual clauses to get around the European laws. These agreements essentially assured that data could be shared between non-European countries if they had the same standards of protection. And for those countries that did not have the same standards of protection, they will expand the European law through a contract. U.S. companies would sign a contract saying that even though they don't have a duty under American law to have data protection, they will self certify that they will follow these European rules, independent of the laws in their home country. These agreements have been struck down by the EU Court of Justice over fears that citizens' data isn't safe once it's shipped to the U.S. In a nutshell, a U.S. company cannot override U.S. law that states that the U.S. government can surveil online data. So now that I've brought you up to speed, let's look at what Meta is saying about this situation currently. As part of its annual report published in early February, Meta said, we are also subject to evolving laws and regulations that dictate whether, how, and under what circumstances we can transfer, process, and or receive certain data that is critical to our operations. If we are unable to transfer data between and among countries and regions in which we operate, or if we are restricted from sharing data among our products and services, it could affect our ability to provide our services, the manner in which we provide our services, or ability to target ads, which could adversely affect our financial results. They go on to say that in August of 2020, we received a preliminary draft decision from the Irish Data Protection Commission that preliminarily concluded that Meta Platforms Ireland's reliance on SCCs in respect of European user data does not achieve compliance with the general data protection regulation and preliminarily proposed that such transfers of user data from the European Union to the United States should therefore be suspended. We believe a final decision in this inquiry may issue as early as the first half of 2022. If a new transatlantic data transfer framework is not adopted and we are unable to continue to rely on SCCs or rely upon other alternative means of data transfers from Europe to the United States, we will likely be unable to offer a number of our most significant products and services, including Facebook and Instagram in Europe. So that's where we are, folks. In my personal opinion, I don't think that Facebook and Instagram will be leaving Europe. I think that they're just too powerful. Max Schrems himself made a statement on Twitter about this saying, in Facebook's annual report, they openly admit that their whole business in Europe may have to shut down over GDPR, which again stands for General Data Protection Regulation. So they have to shut down over GDPR and US surveillance. Amazing how they don't seem to work on durable solutions. I agree with his skepticism. I think that if Facebook and Instagram 
Instagram were really in danger of being pulled from Europe, they'd be making actual changes to comply with European law. And as far as we're concerned as marketers, stories like this always make me very aware of how I am not in control of anything on social media. It's more important than ever to build up your own websites and email lists because you don't know what will happen with these companies and you don't want too much of your marketing strategy to depend on them. So what are your thoughts? Do you think that Facebook and Instagram is actually going to leave Europe? And if you are a small business in Europe or a marketer and you use Facebook and Instagram for your business, let me know below how this might affect you and what you're doing about it. So if you found this video helpful, I hope that you will like and subscribe for more small business marketing content every week that saves you time and money. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.